Hi, this is Scott Shepard, photo media instructor at Lake Area Technical Institute, Watertown, South Dakota. And this is one in a series of tutorials to help you use uh, Aperture, which is a product done by Apple, and Photoshop, done by Adobe. And in this case, this is a tutorial that is a very specific one for my students. The topic is how to prepare a photo for export and for printing as a 5x7. Uh, we're going to start in Aperture and assuming that you've done all of the adjustments uh, both for contrast and saturation, etc. We're not going to crop the photo in Aperture. We're going to leave it at its original size. And we're going to do an option click or a right click. And we're going to open this photo in Adobe Photoshop. Now I'm using Photoshop CS5 and so are my students. And it takes a while for the photo to open because this is a fairly high resolution photo. Uh, it's being opened up in Photoshop as a 16-bit uh, PSD file. And it is at this point that I want to crop it. I'm going to go and select. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to select the Crop tool. I already have some presets done. Uh, in this case, I'm looking for the 5x7 preset. If you don't have presets, um, you can just put the numbers in up here. Make sure that you put 5IN, which is inches, and 7IN. And of course, I want this as a horizontal crop, so I'm just going to change those two. And then the other thing that you need to do is you need to set the resolution to 300. Uh, the lab that I send prints to and that my students will be sending prints to is White House Custom Color, and they recommend a 300 DPI uh, output. And so then I'm going to crop this photo. Now in this case, I'm going to try to save as much of the photo as I can. Uh, five by seven, of course, is not the native uh, aspect ratio of the camera, which actually is four by six aspect ratio. So I think that's the crop that I want. I'm going to hit enter. And now it's resized. I want to make this a little bit bigger because the next thing that I want to do is I want to go up to Filter, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask. Uh, this was a raw photo to begin with, so the camera didn't do any sharpening. I'm going to take control of that. And in this case, uh, my setting is 194 for amount, radius is .7, and threshold is 2, which is a very standard setting for my tastes. So that sharpening is good. And then the next thing that I need to do is I need to go up to Image, Mode, and I'm going to change it to 8-bit. I'll explain all of this in another tutorial, but just trust me, we want to take it from the 16-bit high-resolution large size file to an 8-bit um, file. And then the next thing that we want to do is we want to save it. So we're going to go Save As. We're going to pick the place that we want it saved. Just change the name because I know I have this file uh, perhaps in this same folder. And then uh, the last thing that I want to do is I want to go from the Photoshop mode down to JPEG. We want it in a compressed format mode because we want this smaller. Uh, I'm embedding the color profile uh, as you see here. Uh, and that's because White House Custom Color had recommended that when I signed up. And then I'm going to click Actually, I don't want it in this folder now that I think of it. Uh, I'm going to go down to, uh, I'll just save it on the desktop. Click Save. Uh, the last choice that we have here is Image op Options, and I'm going to set the quality to 10. Um, 12 is the largest, but uh, the printers that they use at White House Custom Color cannot distinguish between 10 and 12. And there is a substantial size difference, 2.2 megabytes in size. That's an estimate as compared to 4.4. So it's half the size, but the print quality will be identical. And I'll click, <laughs> click OK, click Close. And I have now sized and saved my picture in a format that I can send to White House Custom Color. I'll show you how that's done in another tutorial. Hope this helps.